Hassan, welcome. Um, interesting market reaction to this. I mean, maybe they're just looking at the gross margins, but I guess the, the underlying question for me is how clear is the demand picture for you given the, the slowing economy? Look, overall, you we split the demand into uh, core and not core. Let me focus on, on the core business. That's where most of the clarity is in the long term, which is automotive and industrial. The strength in that business, the demand that we're seeing, and our ability to supply remain constrained. Uh, that demand is not uh, slowing down. We're making progress and catching up, but the outlook looks very favorable. And then you tie on top of that our long-term agreements that we disclosed in uh, yesterday's call as far as silicon carbide, which is going to fuel the EV evolution or the EV revolution for the next uh, decade or two. On the non-core, of course, we're seeing the same, what uh, a lot of our peers that are more exposed to uh, uh, the consumer and compute uh, environment. Uh, we see the same, but those are non-core for us. And we've been kind of stepping back from that business from the last two years since we started our transformation. Uh, and we're taking our manufacturing, a very cautious approach when it comes to the market, but we're still doubling down on the auto and industrial segments. Okay, so given that, what are you doing with costs like headcount and, and what's your approach to your debt? Look, we, we're very comfortable where our debt is. Uh, we're under one from a debt to EBITDA uh, where we stand, so we're comfortable with the debt where uh, the debt is. But from an OPEX, we're running below our model. Uh, we've been trying to catch up to the model. You know, you never hear a lot of CFOs saying that we'd like to get up to the model. Uh, and you heard me on the call yesterday, actually actually uh, throw it out there saying we're hiring. Uh, we're still hiring. We're very cautious where we are. We have a lot of strategic uh, positions that we're hiring in, and we're not going to slow that down. And we're not slowing our investments in uh, CapEx that are yielding that capacity that we need in auto and industrial for the next decade uh, when it comes to silicon carbide specifically. I think that's interesting because we're awash in headlines and leaked memos about companies that are being disciplined, but no one ever talks about the fact that other companies are disciplined in maintaining their hiring or their retention or their CapEx plants. Yeah, look, if you, if you look at the transformation we've done and the restructuring we've done throughout 21 when things are good, that's when companies need to establish themselves for what is yet to come, which is potentially the not so good times. So we have a very strong baseline. We have a solid strategy that we've been executing to. That strategy has shown the results and the outlook of that strategy is stronger than where we are today. So I have no reason uh, to pull back on our investments and no reason to pull back on the hiring uh, because we've done that. We've set ourselves up for this moment. So whenever we come out of whatever you want to call it, this, this slowdown or this uncertainty, we're going to come out stronger than what we walked in. And that's always been part of our core strategy.